What is up guys, we're going to join up with Epic Gaming today. I have you some really dramatic news or some juicy news on a 20 hour gaming session that leaves a man unable to walk. So before we get started, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, share the video, and thank you for all your support. So alright, so let's begin. A uh, 20 hour gaming session leaves a man unable to walk as I said earlier in the video. So pretty much like this guy was playing for 20 hours straight at a cyber coffee in China. And he lost sensation of his legs, and he knew he was losing sensation of his fucking legs, bro. But he still fucking continued to play for 20 hours straight. His friends had to call the paramedics. And this is where it gets more interesting, as this fucking... This guy is a fucking idiot, bro. He literally takes the cake for the stupidest person in 2018, and 2018 just fucking begun. As they were taking him away, he fucking was heard saying that he wanted to finish his fucking game. And I'm not trying to be stereotypical or anything, but uh, knowing Asian people, he was probably fucking playing League of Legends or Dota, which uh, imp impresses me. How can you fucking play that game for 20 hours straight if you're not a competitive gamer? Like, I get if you play the game for like three or four hours a day, like, you know, like that's what you like to play, then yeah. But 20 hours at a sour coffee, you're gonna waste all your fucking money on that. You, if you play 20 hours a fucking day, dude, that means that you have no fucking job, that means that you have no fucking life. And when you start losing sensation of your fucking legs, dude, and you just still sit there and keep playing, and when the paramedics are coming, and you might have a fucking blood clot or something like that, you still fucking wanna finish your game. Like, you do not, like, it doesn't get more stupid than that, bro. You gotta be a completely fucking retard, dude. Like, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, what's your opinion on this? Like, what do you guys think about this fucking idiot, bro? Like, yeah, I'm concerned about him, uh, him dying from the blood clot, if that's what it was, or... If he's not gonna be able to walk ever again, if he's not gonna be able to walk ever again, like his fucking dumbass is just gonna sit there and keep playing in the cyber coffee for another 20 hours and actually die this time. But what do you guys think about this whole situation? Uh, or do you guys already heard about it? Cause this this happened yesterday, dude. This is some really recent news, and I always try and bring you guys the recent news on the gaming world, along with Destiny news and Call of Duty news. Literally, this this thing amazes me. Uh, if I was the guy, bro, and I was like. Uh, losing sensation on my legs, I'll probably get, uh, stop playing, go for a walk, you know, get some circulation going on. I get it sometimes when I'm playing like three or four hours and I'm like just sitting here and I feel my legs going numb and stuff like that. I fucking stop playing right away, bro. I'm like, fuck no, you know, like, I need to get up. I need to do something so this doesn't fucking happen to me because we got common sense, bro. But these fucking people are so stupid that even the fucking government's making playing video games a mental illness, dude. Literally, they're saying there's a mental illness and that it can be just as bad as fucking depression or anxiety and panic disorders and shit like that. But that's gonna be for a whole different video that I don't know. I don't get involved in those things. So just let me know what you guys think in the comments of this idiot that played for 20 hours straight and still wanted to finish his game. He's not able to walk anymore and he was taken to a hospital. And that's pretty much what I have for you guys today. Thank you for watching and Epic Gaming out. Where did you